morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, coming. Hope that a um, few more people will join us um, on the way. Um, so this is the session for young professionals. Um, hope you are in the right place. If you are not, please don't move. Um, hope you are excited as me, uh, because today when I left the hotel, I, I left without my badge. I had to walk back home quickly, fast, and just to get here in time. My name is Filippo Brogini. I'm currently the chairman of the Young Professional uh, Special Interest Community. Um, and um, today um, we will also announce additional members, and that will be um, shown in a few seconds. So let's just get me started. Um, so we are the Young Professionals. Um, everyone is welcome to join this group. Um, you don't have to be under the age of 35 to do that. Everyone is welcome to join the LinkedIn page to stay updated on everything. Uh, because of course this is targeted to the young professional, but the audience we really need, you know, it's, it's much broader. Because if someone has suggestions, you have more senior people, everyone is welcome to, um, to give their feedback. Um, so the current committee uh, is myself, um, Fibor Bugini, which I'm currently a postdoc at ETH in Zurich. Yeah, we have Dan Clark from BG and Romain Chesen, which um, from Harry Watt University, uh, which are unfortunately are not able to attend. Uh, Romain has a very good reason to not attend. He's becoming a father. Um, and what we just, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, most of you are aware of it. Uh, we are recently had on the LinkedIn page um, uh, an announcement, you know, weeks ago to expand the committee members. And we recently closed this poll, and we now announced you know, additional members. So we expanded uh, the committee members from three to seven people. And I'm pretty sure this will be uh, a you know, key point um, to improve, to gain momentum uh, in, in the future. Um, the new members are Leonardo Azevedo from Instituto Superior Tecnico from Portugal, um, Nils Grob from TU Delft. Nils is around here, right there. Shake your hand a little bit more. There it is. He will help me today in uh, moderating this event. Um, he's finishing, he's just finishing his PhD, that's correct, Delft, and will soon move uh, to MIT for a postdoc. So we'll, uh, that will increase our geographical extension. And we have Kate Lloyd from also BG and Matteo Ravasi from Statoil, which uh, unfortunately are not able to attend this um, session. Um, I'm also pretty sure you've all read the article on the recruitment special, uh, which was um, released like a few weeks ago and, and announced um, by EAG um, on the mailing list, uh, where one of the recipients of um, a Young Scientist Prize, you know, shares some stories about her success. So please, if you haven't read that, please go uh, online on EAG and you'll find it. Um, What's the goal, you know, um, I've been approached uh, by people, you know, asking me information about this group. And, you know, um, you know I have not, you know, have, haven't been shy in saying that, you know, even though, you know, we've been around, you know, for a few years, we are still looking, you know, what I would say, like our, you know, real identity. And, you know, so um, the main reason, you know, we have these events is actually to, to get your feedback, which will be, you know, through like, you know, get in touch with the members and, you know, asking questions, you know, giving us suggestions, tell us what you want from us. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to help you, we'll try to find ways to do this. And, you know, we will also have like an online, you know, if you're too shy to, to get to talk to us, we will have an online questionnaire uh, where, you know, we will, you will be able to uh, provide us with your feedback. Um, so the main goal is to help, you know, young professional, you know, to develop their professional and personal skills um, to, you know, to, able, you know, to be able to, to, to enter smoothly, you know, the, the market of, you know, of, of industry or, or academia. And another goal is organizing events like this. this we call this our main event. Uh, we just had a very interesting meeting yesterday uh, with uh, an EAG committee. We would like to extend these events, um, probably in other uh, regional um, meetings. And you know, we will try to use the local chapters in various universities in various countries, you know, 
as our uh, branches, our extended arms to, you know, to even get more in touch you know, with uh, the young professional in different locations. And our goal is also like to get in touch, you know, just now with, you know, with more seniors, with young professionals at this session and uh, invite them to give them speech. But we'll, you know, try to get in, you know, in touch with them, you know, throughout the year and, you know, publish some maybe interviews or, you know, conversation with them or first break or on the LinkedIn webpage. Um, so I keep mentioning the LinkedIn group, which is, you know, currently uh, the main way to stay in touch with us. Um, you know, if you go on LinkedIn and you, and you type in the search page EAG Young Professional, you'll find our group, which, you know, everyone, I repeat, is, you know, is, is welcome to join. You don't have to be under the age of 35. The community is constantly growing. And, you know, we, you know, what we, you know, ask for you is just like, you know, when you have, like, you know, some free time during the coffee during the week, just give it a look. Uh, if you have something interesting, you know, you can post everything you're welcome to post. We'll follow up, you know, with comments, you know, and, and suggestions. Um, this is a brief uh, agenda of the, uh, today's session. So that's, you know, myself talking and giving you uh, like a glimpse of the young professional. Then we have um, four speakers, uh, which at first they give like speeches to longer to shorter. And this four speaker will lead four brainstorming sessions. So what I will ask later to the audience is to join one of the four speakers, one of the table where they're sitting, and we'll have some kind of you know, interaction you know, on, on some kind of topic, you can bring up ideas, you know, whatever. And at the end, uh, a person for each group um, you know, will we'll find a way to, you know, uh, maybe we'll, we should come here in front of uh, everyone or you know, somewhere in the middle to present the ideas that you know, emerge during this discussion. Um, then we'll have, you know, also, what I will ask, and then uh, we'll have some more uh, interactive part. Um, between and after every talk, we'll um, show a question on the, on the screen, and then um, you will be able to, to provide an answer in an anonymous way through your phone. And then we will discuss the result you know, in, in, in real time later. Um, so, so the main goal, you know, this is just a sentence that I like that I also uh, showed last year, is like, you know, involvement of the young professional today for a more involved and dynamic EAG and professional community tomorrow. So we, we are here, you know, to come up with ideas and suggestions for young professionals, so students that are finishing the studies or people, you know, that just entered the industry academia, you know, to keep growing and you know, also to keep, give back to the young professional community. Um, do we have the... Oh. There it is. Oh, oh wow. Um, so, this is uh, the interactive part that I was uh, just mentioned. So, um, I'll ask you to go to this uh, login in the internet, which is, uh, um, you go to the website, it's called uh, sensei.com. You have to enter EAGYP, and then, or there's an additional way, actually. We are getting more and more technological this year. You have a way to text your answer to the number you see below, which I'm not going to read because I cannot read that far. Um, you have to type EAG, YP space, and then your choice of, assume, the answer. Um, shall we start pull up the first question and then introduce the speaker? Okay, so this is the first question that, yeah, let's, let's move. It's working? Yes? Um, So what do you see as the biggest challenge this generation of geoscientists will face during their career? So we have four answers here. So you please, you know, while we'll have the first speaker um, um, give us a speech, please don't spend all your time on your smartphone. Um, you know, give an answer to this, and then after, you know, his, uh, the speech is done, we'll, we'll discuss this. Um, so I conclude now with a quick introduction of the speakers, and then we'll 